What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Nation Media and welcome back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode we left off by going back in time after completing the Woodfall Temple and a couple of extra things after that. So we are starting back over again on the first day and Tattle is going to tell us where we need to go next. The quickest way to the mountains is through the gate. So guess where we are not going to be going? We are not going to be going to... well we're not going to be going that direction. We're not going to be going to the mountains just yet because there's a few other things that I want to grab. And so we're going to start things off how I normally start things off after going back in time. And that is by grabbing the 100 rupees that are just chilling here in Clock Town, in East Clock Town. Actually, we can probably just slow down time too. Just for the sake of it. I don't know how necessary that is because after we do the collection and all that stuff, I'm probably going to go back in time again just for the sake of saving and all of that stuff. I really wish that they made saving not easily accessible because you can easily access it, but oh my gosh, I thought it just jumped off. I just wish that there was like a manual save instead of, I mean, I guess it is a manual save, but you know what I mean, like that you could just save at any time, you don't have to start all over again, and that you could save in the middle of the three day cycle instead of just saving and quitting. But what do I know? What do I know? That is pretty much one of the only gripes I have with this entire game. Pretty much. That is probably my least favorite thing about it. Alright, let me out. I have a sword and I have a bunny hood, so what could possibly go wrong? Now there's a couple of things that we can do, one of which is trying to attempt the quiver game. And... not the quiver game. You get a quiver for doing it, I believe. Um, but what I mean is the bow and arrow game, the shooting mini game, archery. I don't know why I couldn't think of that phrase, but actually speaking of archery, I need to make sure that I have some arrows because we want to shoot down Tingle and take a picture of his beautiful, beautiful face because that's actually going to net us a heart piece. Why can't I just grab the rupees link so I changed from d-pad to an analog stick and it honestly hasn't made things that much better than I thought it would uh, or that much better why can't I talk today it hasn't improved things as much as I wanted it to is what I was trying to say my gosh I just can't get words out it is just not happening so we're gonna slowly make our way back to the swamp and just circle around all of these arrows and hopefully kill the keys that are trying to attack me. How did that hit me through my shield? What in the world? Why are there so many of them too? Well, I'll be. What do we have here? A treasure chest that I guarantee you has like uh, oh, we're gonna get some Dooku sticks too, which is good because we need those for the skull to the house that I want to do 20 rupees. Oh joy. Oh joy. I might actually want to switch back to the d-pad to be honest. This analog stick is not good. So I think it, it's just more a matter of this controller is too old and It's just not good. It's just not good. So the archery game is down here, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Okay, I don't know how that didn't hit me. No idea. We're going to shoot Tingle down so we can take a picture of him. Maybe it's a little bit better for the bow. Maybe it is. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Alright, let's pull out our pictograph box. And might actually want to be a little bit farther away from him because we want a full body shot I don't think it works if you just get like a like waist up picture why is it taking so long to load okay that should work even though he was in the middle of doing I don't even know what just bending over and looking at his feet for whatever reason but now that poison is filling the swamp again we can do stuff. We can do stuff like the photo contest that for some reason is over once you... Nope, wait a minute. Press the wrong button. Keep this picture. Yes, please, just take off the bunny hood. 
Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. A child his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, <laughs> welcome. Well then, why don't you show me the picture after you've taken? Oh joy, we're about to get a heart piece. Spoiler. Wow, that's my son? Eesh, is he still doing that sort of thing? Urgh, how humiliating. This guy, he's my son. As old as he gets, as old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him, but he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going to all that trouble. It really wasn't that much trouble, but okay. We got a heart piece, and we have assembled a new heart container. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. He wants us to tell Tingle to not go outside in that outfit anymore. Well, then. Well, then. Now, I believe there are some other things that will allow you to win the contest, such as taking a picture of the Dooku King, but that involves killing the Octo, and it's just a big... It's just a pain, man. It's just a pain. So, as far as options now, I don't know why I did that and just wasted magic for no reason. When I can do the quick spin. Our options now are to either do the Quiver game or to do the Skulltula house. And actually, now that I mentioned that, I want to grab some magic beans from this Dooku business scrub chilling up here. Because he will sell... Oh, why did I jump off? My gosh. Why do I do the things that I do? We actually have to be a Dooku scrub in order to get stuff from him. He won't sell to you if you're a human for whatever reason. In fact, he wants you to, like, give him a title deed to move out. And it's part of a different side quest that we can't do. Or we, we can do it, but we can't complete it. So there's no point in starting it. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with a focus on a Dooku scrub clientele. Actually, I want to do business at the palace, but there's this big octopus and uh, nothing really can be done about it So I set up shop here Do you know what magic beans are sir? I will sell you one for ten rupees okay, I believe we need two one or two. I'm gonna buy two to be completely certain And yeah, all right, no, no, I, I don't want to talk to you again. No, I do not need any of your magic beans. I have enough magic happening. There's enough magic happening. Okay, so we can head on over to the Quiver game. I, I was going to actually bypass it because I don't think with this controller it's going to work. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go, and it's probably going to take me a million tries, so I'm going to have to cut out a bunch but we're gonna do it nonetheless. Oh my gosh, okay. I already got I already got my Dooku sticks that we're gonna need for the Skull to the House, so you know what? We're just gonna run by and head into the Swamp Shooting Shooting Gallery. I cannot speak today. What is going on? <laughs> hey mate, how are ya? Wanna play? Sure, he doesn't really explain anything about the game. But basically how it works is you pay 20 rupees and then you shoot a bunch of the enemies, you have unlimited arrows, and you have to get a certain score. Um, I think you actually get something specific for getting a perfect score? But I don't know that you have to get a perfect score to get the quiver. I don't know. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform, you gotta hit them all, that's all there is to it. Oh, you do have to hit them all. You have to get a perfect game? If you don't aim proper with the control stick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? Uh, do I really have a choice? At least you have unlimited arrows. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to cut some of this out. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to get a perfect score. It's just not happening. Especially with the Wolfos guys. Uh, I almost didn't get that. I almost didn't get that. I want to get this guy right there. He's a secret. He's a secret guy. Where's where's that wolf? Oh. Okay, I'm actually doing better than I usually do at this point. Where? Where are the birdies? Oh no. Come on. Come on. You also have a time limit, which I think is weird. Um, but certain things like the wolves, if they run by, 
and they disappear, you lose them for good. Like, they don't come back, I don't think. Oh, I almost got all five right there. Almost. Like, and the birds, too. Like, the little, little crow guys. I think if they fly away, you're just, you miss it for good. Get them! Oh, okay. I got a perfect score on the first try! I can't talk today, but apparently I can play. While doing commentary, I'm very proud of myself. Oh. With a lot of extra time to spare, too. That's literally... That's pretty much the best I've ever done. I don't know if I've ever beaten that on my first try. I normally hate this game. Oh. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. My hands are like sweating and everything. Here you go, take this, mate. All right, we got the large quiver. Now you can carry up to 40 arrows. I tell your friends all about us, all right, mate? I don't know if he's supposed to be like Australian or what, because I can't do an Australian accent. I can barely do my own accent. Now, what I'm wondering is if you complete it again, do you get a heart piece? I don't remember. There are so many games that if you complete it once, you get whatever the reward is, like whatever the item-based reward is, and if you beat it a second time, you get a heart piece. I'm not doing that a second time. I'm not doing that a second time, at least right, not right now. Perhaps we will come back to it. Um, I'm just ridiculously happy that I completed that in one try. That is craziness. So I'm trying to think where we need to go next. Um, where are the Skulltula houses? It's in the swamp, but I think it might actually be faster if I warp over there. So let's pull out the ocarina. And I almost played this long with time. So maybe it was a good thing that I switched to the analog stick because I don't know if I would have been able to have been as accurate with a D-pad. All right, go to Woodfall. I think that's gonna be faster than just trying to run all the way there and then hopping across all the lily pads and everything. We're still gonna have to hop across the lily pads, but we can hope. We can hope that this is faster. It might just be a long, long-ish detour. Okay, where is the exit? Nope, that is an owl statue. Well, wait a minute. How the heck do you even get out of here? It's all the way over there? Okay. Okay, so I suppose I need my... No, I don't need that. I need my Dooku mask. Maybe this was not the quicker of the two ways. I don't know. I don't know. Oh gosh. Can I make that lily pad at least? One, two, three, four. Off to a great start. Uh, off to a great start for sure. So I can complete that mini game in one try, but I literally can't do anything else. Literally can't do anything else. Maybe it's faster if I go this direction. Perhaps it is. At this point, it would have just been faster to... Oh, can I take the lily pads instead of going up there? This might be the way I want to go. This might be the way I want to go. Oh, wait a minute. There's no lily pad there. Oh my gosh. What is happening? This is way more difficult. I'm not doing it this way. I'm not doing it this way. And then we have to run by all these stupid enemies. Okay, so I just wasted a bunch of time for no reason. Why, man? Why did I have to do that? I just want to go to a house full of spiders, okay? It's... It shouldn't be that big of a deal. It shouldn't be this difficult. It should not be this difficult. Okay, so we could take the boat cruise, except for the fact that we haven't saved the old witchy lady. So we're going to... Well, you know what? This area actually isn't poisonous, so we can just swim right through. That's going to be faster than taking the lily pads. For sure. For sure. It's going to take this whole episode just to get to the Skulltula house at this rate. 
And I'm not even entirely positive where it is. I know it's somewhere in this loop. And you have to like burn down a spider web that's in front of it. So that's why it's a good thing that we have a Dooku stick because we can steal fire from a torch. And we're gonna have to get rid of this big Octo up here too. Which we should be able to do with just, like, just an arrow, I think. I don't think you have to run over it with the boat. Otherwise, this episode is going to be crazy long. We're going to have to go do the monkey thing, and... Oh... I thought that was going to miss me. I thought wrong. Shoot. Shoot so I can bounce it back at you. One more. Oh! That almost just died in the water. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. Get a few more rupees. And we can just shoot this gigantic octo right in the eye. Ouch. It only takes one shot, too, despite it being a giant octo. Which literally makes no sense because the small octorox take two bow shots, I believe. Now, as you can see, the water has changed color a little bit. So now we're in the poisonous area of the swamp. And I'm not about to drown here. So I'm taking the short path, even if it might take a little bit longer. And I think if I go on to land, now if I drown, I can go back and teleport there instead of having to go all the way back to the beginning. I see the skeletal house, it's right there. We are so close. I don't know why I thought it would be faster to go to Woodfall. I don't know. All right, we have arrived. We have arrived. Fearful spider house dead ahead. And by dead ahead, it's like right in front of us. Okay, so we need to burn down the web that's just chilling right there like so and in we go yay it's a spider house and I hate spiders oh look a dog oh there's buggies we probably want to grab some of those I think that might actually be useful in this I think that's why they're here there might be areas to grab more bugs inside as well but some of these skulls I know are hidden in like piles of dirt and you can use the bugs to dig them out anyway let's talk to this freaky looking guy right here who's half spider or more than half spider ah help me I'm not a monster the spider's curse it made me this way I beg of you in here find them all the gold ones the cursed spiders defeat them quickly and when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider's spirits. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please, this is awful. Okay. Yes, it definitely is awful. So, returning from Ocarina of Time, we have the gold skulltulas. They're only contained in these houses. And you can hear them creeping about, and it's freaking weird. There's one right there. So basically, we have to kill all of them. And, oh, where are you going? Where... Where are you going? I'm surprised it died with one slash of a sword. So I don't even remember how many are in here. I want to say 20 maybe? Oh, there's one. There's one. I think there's one more Skulltool house in this game as well. So. Uh, just a random fact. Just a random fact. I think that one actually gets you a better prize than this one. Now, I think I can hear one in this... This patch of of whatever whatever magic bean dirt soil that is just randomly on the wall but using the insects we can draw out whatever is inside sometimes they pull out rupees sometimes they pull out giant spiders who somehow were like hiding in the wall because spiders spiders are gross literally hate spiders oh oh you think you're just Think you're just gonna hide? Think you're just gonna hide, man? Now, part of this actually becomes a lot easier once you get the um, the hook shot because it allows you to pull these spider tokens to you. For example, I can't just kill him with the bow up there because then I won't be able to get the token. So I have to wait for him to come down. 
Any minute now, he will come back. And there we go. There might be one in here too. I mean, perhaps I need to get more buggies. I should be able to just go through the exit and come back, right? Right? The buggies have returned? Yes! Come here, you little... You little insects. You caught a bug in the bottle. Now, what kind of bug is it? I don't know. I don't know what kind of bug it is. But what I do know is that I like whatever these little bugs are a lot more than... Oh, wait a minute. This is the one I got. Okay. So we need to go to this one. Yes, I can... I can hear you! Slithering about. Well, I guess spiders don't slither, huh? Just being freaking gross inside the wall. I'm not sure if we need more insects. Oh, okay. Alright, we got five. Is there one inside one of these pots over here? I feel like there might be. No. I definitely hear more in this room. I 100% do. 100% do. But it might be on the second level, and we can't reach that area just yet. What happens if I just do that? What? Okay. I mean, that's only like four rupees total, maybe? What if I do this side? Are there eyes over here, too? We're getting... We're getting money! Yay! That was fun. Now, are there any, like, beehives up here that might have spiders? I feel like that would be a worthy place to look. I feel like that might be a worthy place to look. Like, just chilling on the ceiling or something? Sounds like wh whatever spider is in here is kind of, like, distant. So, let's... Let's go to the next room. How am I gonna get some of these though? Like, what? How am I gonna get some of these without the hook shot? Can I knock you off the wall? Or am I gonna have to like go up on whatever this platform is and just fall down on you? That's probably gonna have to be what happens here. Boom. Okay, I hear, I hear more spiders definitely. Well, wait a minute. How am I going to get these? I don't even know. Perhaps we're going to have to wait until... I could have sworn that I have beaten this, though, without... Without the hook shot. Oh, wait a minute. I see a, a beehive or something up there. There's several of them. When there's a cutscene, you know, you know something is about to happen. Do they all have spiders in them? Because there's like three more of them up here. How did that miss? Nope. Jesus. That was really, really touchy. Oh, that has nothing in it. Okay, so apparently the cutscenes, they don't always mean that there's going to be Skulltulas inside. Did I just happen to guess correctly on the first try? I'm not in the right position to get that. How did that miss? I don't understand, man. Okay, apparently there's no more spiders. Well, fine. Whatever, man. How do I get up there? Can I just shoot the ladder? There is no ladder. There is no ladder to shoot. Okay, maybe we need to come in from a different angle. All right. Well, we're gonna leave that other token there for now. Let's try going this way. Oh, we have, we have a sleepy Dooku Scrubs chilling here. I guarantee you there's one in one of these pots. There it is. Ow. Ouchies. Only up to seven. I want to say there's 20, but I honestly don't know. Something is definitely going on with these pots. 
Something is definitely going on with these pots. Let's check to make sure there's no... Oh, there are more. There are more of these these hivey things that are very easy to miss. How do I keep guessing correctly? How do I keep guessing correctly? I don't even know. I feel like I should get rid of all of them, though. I feel like I should knock them all down. Because what if there's... What if there's more? Just because in the one room, every hive didn't have a spider, that does not mean that there's not going to be multiple spiders just chilling. Okay. And I still waste, waste an arrow there for no reason. Oh my gosh. That's some, some restful sleep happening. Oh, crap. What's with that Dooku scrub? It's just sleeping here like a lazy fool? A lazy fool? Really? I hate bees. Hate bees. Hate spiders. I hate bees. I'm not a bug guy. I'm not. Ugh, wasting all of my arrows. Spiders? No spiders. No spiders. Oh, good thing I did knock them down because there was two up there. If I did not do that, I guarantee you I would have gotten all the other tokens and then I would have been like, oh my gosh, I can't find the last one. Where could it possibly be? How do I... How do I... How do I do this, man? Do I throw bombs? Is that, is that what's going to help? I don't know. I don't remember what you're supposed to do with these. No, that does not appear to be doing anything. No, oh, I definitely just missed that. 100% just missed that. That's not the ticket. That is not the ticket. I just wasted a bunch of bombs for no reason. There's another spider all the way up there. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh, hello. Hello. Okay, we definitely have to play a song for you. What's with that Dooku Scrub? It's just sleeping here like a lazy fool. Okay, well, you already said that. We probably have to play the Sonata of Awakening. What is that? Song of Soaring, Oath to Order. That's definitely not it. Sonata of Awakening. Up left, up left, A right, A. Got it on the first try, because I'm terrible at remembering these things. But uh, that should wake him up. And now we can use his, his lovely little flower to get up to the second level. Are you going to get anybody out of those pots? No, you are not. No, you are not. How do we get stuff out of these pots? My gosh. I know that there's a spider in one of them. I know it. I know it. Where's my Dooku mask? Let's pull out the Dooku mask and use the golden flower. Which is better than any regular flowers. What if I just land in one of them? Like, does that do anything? We're gonna find out. Oh, we get rupees apparently. I like that. Three rupees. Ooh, five rupees. Am I gonna make this jump? Oh. Well, what I wanted to do is actually pull out the bombs again and see what happens if I just literally just drop it. Okay, it doesn't drop in there. What if we just roll into them? That, that makes more sense. Because, like, in classic Zelda, just rolling into stuff always always makes things happen, man. There we go. There we go. I wasted all those bombs for no reason. All right. We are up to 11. Let's see if there's anything in these other ones. I still hear spiders somewhere. Okay. Well, 
No more. No more right there, that's for sure. There might be some in the pot up there. Let's get back in our golden flower here. And check out what's over here. There's a map on the wall, too. Sort of. Sort of a map on the wall. Oh, you're coming down! Okay, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Anybody in the pots? Nobody in the pots. What's over there? I still hear a spider. We didn't get everything in this room. Are you literally just under a rock? No, you're not, but this would not be the worst time to grab some more buggeroonies. Because I'm sure there are more areas with dirt. Where, where is this spider? I can hear him. It sounds like he's like pretty close by. Crawling around somewhere. He's like, is he back behind these pots? I thought I, I already... He literally sounds like he's in one of these. Did I not roll into that one already? Apparently I didn't. What do I know? I could have sworn I rolled into all of them. Well... Can I make this door over here? Yes, I can. Actually, since it's over half an hour into this video, I'm going to actually call it quits here. And uh, we're about halfway through the house. Maybe a little bit more. There's got to be between 20 and 30. I feel like 30 is a lot. But anyway, we're going to call it quits. In the next episode, we will finish up this house if we can. I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it without having the hookshot to grab all the spider tokens. But we're going to find out. Uh, thanks for watching. I will be back in a few more days for the next episode. And so until then, game on.